From July 1st, 2007, these elements of everyday life could cost a little less, become more ecological, and not become disconnected. The liberalization of gas and electricity markets is already a reality for consumers in nine member states. From July 1st, 2007, it comes into effect throughout the European Union. But what will the liberalization of the gas and electricity markets mean in practical terms? To fully understand the mechanism, you first need to take a look at the entire chain, consisting of the following. Production, generated on a national basis or imported from neighboring countries. Transport, to feed electricity and gas into the distribution network and energy suppliers, whose role it is to take care of commercial aspects and the billing of customers. Before liberalization, this entire chain was more or less a monopoly, carried out by one and the same body. But in the future, following a European Commission initiative which began the complex process of opening up the markets a decade ago, production and supply will have to be completely independent of transport and distribution. From now on, there should be free competition between suppliers. So what are the benefits of the opening up of gas and electricity markets? First of all, competitive prices. The only way to cut lower prices is to encourage competition. But encourage competition can be done only by customer. When customer is able and has a possibility to switch suppliers. Because only in this way suppliers have incentives to provide the best service but also to come with a price. The most significant effect of liberalization, the emergence of a market price. In fact, over the past few years, electricity prices have remained reasonably stable, despite a marked increase in the cost of primary fuels. The possibility of choosing a supplier is a right and not an obligation for the consumer, but to be able to use this choice, he or she must first be in possession of all the information. In Britain, for example, where there's been liberalization for several years now, it's clear how important independent organizations such as Energy Watch are. For the market to work, of course, consumers have to be informed. Where consumers aren't informed, markets fail. And Energy Watch has recognised that, so it has lots of ways in which it provides information to consumers. First, on our own website, we publish the tariffs and the quality of service and complaints information about all the suppliers. For this young London couple, the website of the independent organization Energy Watch is an invaluable tool in their household. I guess we won't use that much. At the click of a mouse, by simply introducing a postcode and an estimate of yearly consumption, a comparative chart immediately shows the prices offered by the various suppliers. British Gas, Empower... With uh, websites like Energy Watch, it does mean that we can just very easily compare a lot of different energy providers because one of the problems is as soon as you have a number of different providers it's difficult to make a decision about which is the cheapest one or which is the most green. The goal of liberalization is to guarantee competitive prices but also to strengthen the European network to optimize the connections between the various member states and to be able to guarantee supply for all the consumers in the Union. It's very lot of benefits for the creation of European grid and in particular in the situation when we are fighting climate change and where we are trying to diversify our supplies to avoid situation having no gas or no oil. This means it's important to have careful monitoring of the way the markets operate in all the member states for both electricity and gas and also to guarantee genuine competition between the various suppliers, a role played by national energy regulatory authorities, the competition authorities and the European Commission. Les régulateurs européens d'électricité et du gaz naturel sont des autorités publiques nationales. Elles sont indépendantes, c'est-à-dire indépendantes des acteurs du secteur, des fournisseurs, des gestionnaires de réseau. Et leur principal rôle est d'ouvrir le marché, d'assurer une concurrence effective sur ces marchés. In certain countries, there's been a progressive opening of the markets. Belgium, which is divided into three regions, saw Flanders, its northern part, liberalized in 2003. In the capital Brussels and in Wallonia, there's only been open competition since January 2007. So how are things going for the customers in Wallonia? Cela se passe plutôt bien, donc tout n'est pas parfait. Il y a quelques difficultés au démarrage parce qu'il y a beaucoup de personnes 
qui ont voulu choisir un nouveau fournisseur, qui ont voulu euh, signer un contrat. Mais donc, on peut dire que c'est une réussite à partir du moment où aujourd'hui, on a déjà plus de 700 000 euh, contrats qui ont été signés en quelques mois de temps. Donc, 700 000 contrats sur, euh, sur 1,5 million de consommateurs. Mais en moyenne, les consommateurs payent moins cher que, que s'ils auraient payé s'ils étaient restés captifs, euh, pour autant qu'ils fassent bien leur choix. But in order to choose their supplier, customers have a huge amount of information to deal with. So what tools are available to help them? Il y a d'abord des campagnes d'information euh, grand public pour informer euh, les, les ménages qu'ils avaient la possibilité de choisir le fournisseur de leur choix. Euh, à côté de cela, il y a eu des brochures qui ont été distribuées euh, aux factures euh, de l'ancien fournisseur. Il y a une petite plaquette qui a été jointe et qui explique un peu toutes les procédures. Et à côté de ça, la COIP a mis au point un simulateur tarifaire qui permet aux consommateurs, via Internet, sur base de ses consommations propres, de savoir quel est le fournisseur le plus intéressant dans son cas précis. Pour ce retired couple dans la Liège région, c'est important de faire le bon right choix de supplier. Pour donner un peu de lumière sur la situation, ils peuvent tourner aux consommateurs de magazines, des documentations des différents joueurs sur le marché et des comparaisons de charts disponibles sur Internet. Le tableau qui est sous les yeux est, est évidemment très clair. Ça met en évidence le choix qu'on pourrait opérer, disons, à court terme. Le fait d'avoir euh, plusieurs distributeurs, ben, ça va peut-être justement euh, régler un petit peu nos factures différemment. Even so, some skepticism remains. Voilà. Pourquoi est-ce qu'il y a tant de différences, parfois de, 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 de 500 à 1000 euros à Je ne comprends pas, parce que oui. le courant, c'est du courant, de toute façon. Hein. With these sorts of questions, the different suppliers are forced to improve their customer communication. The European Regulators Group for Electricity and Gas, ERGEG, has published a brochure describing the practices to improve information across the Union. Starting on July 1, 2007, D-Day, the European Commission, together with the Regulators Group, is launching a big information campaign in the newly liberalized member states. But it's vital that customers also do their part and play an active role in informing themselves. I am very much attached to this responsible consumer behavior. And the first step to be responsible is to know. But is there any risk in changing supplier? The answer is a clear no, because liberalization doesn't mean deregulation. In fact, quite the opposite. But to strengthen the focus that consumer is the most important issue, not the energy providers, uh, we are uh, elaborating energy consumer charter that will describe all the rights uh, that consumer can exercise. Clear information, simplified forms and administration for changing suppliers, better protection for vulnerable citizens, and more protection against unfair commercial practices from suppliers. These are rights which are already guaranteed and will be set out in a European Charter of Energy Consumers' Rights. The chart is very important uh, because uh, it will put in a nutshell what we are targeting for having empowered and, and better informed consumers. Information which will allow customers to make an enlightened choice in the future. By the very fact that the consumers have a choice, I think that um, that means all the providers are forced to keep quite competitive. Moi, j'ai pas changé. En attendant de voir aussi quelques mois par comment ça se passe avec les autres fournisseurs, éventuellement changer par après. So, in real terms, my gas bill and electricity bill have gone down. I don't know by maybe 50 or 60 pounds per year. Et pour l'instant, on est gagnant. Donc, euh, de notre côté, euh, on verra. If July 1, 2007 is the key date for the liberalization of the gas and electricity markets, the process doesn't simply end there. To guarantee free choice and to respect the rights of consumers, the European Commission will oversee the opening of the markets and make sure that competition between suppliers is effective throughout the whole of the Union.